obviously, I mean, these these vaccines were a, a technology, especially if we're talking about the mRNA vaccines, so say the COVID, the Pfizer, uh, BioNTech, or the Moderna vaccines. The uh, the RNA technology is a is a newer technology in terms of type of vaccine, but that type of vaccine had been under trials for for many years. Um, that being said, in terms of the specific COVID vaccine, while it has only been out, you know, as you know, a short couple of years, um, the studies that went into that during that time were very very rigorously done, um, you know, high quality uh, trials. Um, and I think that everybody can feel quite safe that they've been studied to the best of our capacity at this stage. Obviously, long term, 10 years down the road, um, you know, there, there may be things we come to learn. Um, but I think it's important to, to recognize side effects versus um, adverse events. And those things are different. Side effects are like what you you know mentioned. We we can expect that people may have a sore arm, fever, flu-like symptoms. I mean, they might be aches and pains. Um, versus adverse events, which are perhaps more serious, unexpected, very rare outcomes. Um, but you know, e even when I talk to to ten years down the road, um, certainly I would say to anybody who's who's weighing the pros and cons of the of the fact that time will tell us some of those things. We also don't know what those long-term adverse uh, consequences of having the COVID virus are um, and certainly some of the evidence that we're seeing in terms of some of the longer COVID symptoms people are having the effect on their vascular system um, the, the consequence of having the you know infection is actually proving to be to be a more significant um, thing than we anticipate any of the adverse effects from potentially vaccinations may be and overall we, we know from a public health um, intervention and, and many of the other vaccines. I mean, we give vaccines for vaccine preventable diseases every day, um, and and the safety profile of those has proven to be to be very high. And so I, I think that people can be reassured that it'll be very very unlikely that there would be a, you know a serious adverse event that we may only discover ten years from now. Um, and 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 in that would still be worth the risk given the negative consequences that infection with COVID may cause.